everyone, I'm Hugo. I can still smell my breath. And this is Jake Reads Your Comments number... Oh, uh, making out with your bro. Okay, so today Jake is here to read, uh, or respond to more of your comments. That's the gist. Yeah. Here we go. Laryl, dear Hugo, if you could be Michael Phelps of any sport... What sport would it be? It doesn't have to be a mainstream sport. You know, like swimming is a mainstream sport. I, this is my this is my one where I steal from Hugo. Um, I'll let you answer first, though, since I did steal it. A little courtesy from the thief. If you ha if you could be the Michael Phelps of any sport, meaning the best in that sport. Curling. Curling. Yeah. That's a team sport. So you'd be the best. What would you would you do the? If you don't know what curling is. Um, it's what Canadians do when they're bored. They find a rock, right? And they try to slide the rock into a target area, and then people have brushes, and the brushes apparently, uh, melt the ice enough for something that it reduces the friction so it can go faster or slower. I want to be the best. And you kind of curve it around if you, it'll... I want to be the Michael Jordan of the brushing. I the brushing be, guy? Yeah. But not the Michael Phelps. No, Michael Jordan. All I right. want to be so good, I basically, when you think the sport, you think me. Okay. That's what I want. I want to make every... Which isn't as hard to do, honestly. I A lot more people know Michael Jordan than they know basketball in general. And basketball was pretty well known. So I'm saying I have a, a less of a hurdle than he did. Right, it's fucking it's, curling. It's cur they might not even know... Right, like what, in the middle, the people are like, I do? they're like, "What? What am I doing? Oh, I'm in a, sp I'm a professional athlete. What's this called?" Yeah. So, what's your, what's your, what's your curling space jam gonna be? Space ice rock sliding, space z space zamboni, space sam. No, that just sounds like. I think we should parlay this directly into space zamboni. Okay, for those of you who don't know, the zamboni is the machine that makes the ice. Icy. Puts water on it. Makes it nice and clear for the hockey players. So what sport would it be for you? If I could be the Michael Jordan or Michael Phelps of any any sport. Hmm. Badminton. It's because shuttlecock? It's not because shuttlecock. That's actually a bonus. It's like a little present at the bottom of the cereal box. Uh, badminton because... What's the fucking professional circuit of badminton look like? I feel like I could dominate that today. I'm really good at badminton. It's not a very athletic sport. You're a very... I could beat you today at badminton. Disagree. This is the part where if we had a budget, we'd do a badminton montage. We do not. Well... This is from our Discord, which should probably have a link in the description. Vulcan Conroy says, Dear Hugo and Jake, do lizards see snakes as amputee lizards? No, I think that's more of like a, um... <laughs> like how we see, um... Like, uh, Terry Schiavo. And stuff like that, where it's just like, oh... That oh. bad? Oh, we should pull the plug. And then one person's like, no, don't pull the plug. And we're like, oh, yeah, the rest of the nation's like... Definitely pull the plug. It's a dated 2003 joke. Guys, Elian Gonzalez is coming up soon in the lineup of jokes. She was, was a, she was a vegetable. I think the real question we should ask ourselves is maybe lizards have an inferiority complex. They think to themselves, what are we doing with all these extra arms and legs we clearly don't need? We're being wasteful. Yeah, maybe they have like anxiety about their extra limbs. Yeah, maybe they feel less efficient. Like the people who cut, like like cut off circulation to their legs because they want to be amputees. That happens. That's a real thing. Look it up. That's probably on Reddit. 
That's a real thing. So one time somebody shot their leg up with poop, so it would get infected. Shot their leg. Wait. Hold on. Wait, you shoot... Of all the ways to amputee yourself, not poop shooting up. Don't they, shoot up poop. They collected their own feces. Uh, uh, well, you don't collect someone else's. No, That's too hard. Of course. You collect your own feces. They got it to a mostly liquid state. I don't know. By okay, with like, like a KitchenAid? Maybe with that or <laughs> diluted it. I don't know. Syringed it right into their leg to get... Wow, syringe! To get mad gangrene so they could go to the hospital and get it cut off. That's that's got to be more painful than just cutting your fucking leg off. Oh, probably. Guys, if you want to be amputees, just just be honest about it. You don't have to poop inside your own leg. That's a weird sentence that I didn't think I'd say today. That happens a lot on this show. Don't be a leg pooper. It's not a very strong ending to that one, but we'll we'll take it. Hook says, Dear Hugo and Jake, thoughts on Ethan and Hilla winning their lawsuit. Does this help validate future videos for you guys? This is great, actually. H3H3, if you guys didn't see, completed their lawsuit Correct. against whoever, the, that Matt guy. It was, uh, you know, the guy that did the negging videos. Yeah, he was a cunt. Anyway, uh, they won their case, and it yeah. absolutely strengthened fair use. I would absolutely recommend you go and watch their video on their aftermath their case uh it is excellent for us and everyone on youtube yeah. as for the uh does it help validate future videos for you guys it does it validates it for everyone including you if you ever want to make any content um because basically what it was um you should really watch their breakdown of it especially because uh ethan's real pumped and Ela is just, you could tell like there's a huge weight on their shoulders but Ela was the one that was like clearly not as, uh, I don't know, the stress was definitely getting to her more than it was Ethan, at least physically speaking. Like, yeah. she definitely felt like it weighed on her a little bit more. Maybe she couldn't hold it as well. Um, it's nice to, because I think they're both very nice people. Um, limited interaction with both of them, but um, nice peeps. And uh, really happy for them. And just as a matter of law, which is his new favorite thing to say, uh, you can take clips and make it transformative. Now, a recent thing has come up with Sargon of Akkad, where he re-edited um, clips of some, probably if it was a feminist, I assume. I think so. It was Shocked. A, it was a Hillary Clinton supporter, essentially, okay. and it yeah. was a video that she had taken of the, I think, the night of the election. Sure. She was so, basically being a hypocrite, which is fine. That's fine. Um, pointed out. That's I love it when hypocrites are pointed out. Um, but you can't do it without adding something. Yeah, what and, Sargon did was essentially take her... From what I understand, again, yeah. the video has been removed, so I have to, I'm not making a this judgment. This is second-hand information from people I asked on online that I trust for the record. So, from what I understand, he took the ten-minute or so video of hers, cut it down to about a minute and a half. Didn't really add anything new. Maybe he yeah. cut it so as to make her say things uh, appear. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a hypocrite. Appear appear contradictory. Appear contradictory or yeah. whatever. Um, and whether Again, though, and that did... probably was actually contradictory. I'm not saying that he made no. her look contradictory. I'm saying that he, regardless of, it, it could have been like um, a pro pro someone video that he just cut up. Yeah, and it would be the same exact thing. You have to add to it, and just your editing is not that. It see, here's the thing about that though. Sometimes, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. It's a gray area. It's but tough. That's more like a remix or something there, where you add a beat yeah. or something. Like you could take like like uh, Super Deluxe um, often does like virally sort of videos like that, where they take people's words and stuff and edit them around. But they add graphics, they add music, they add sometimes you know their own custom beats to it and stuff like that. Or sometimes yeah. it's uh, another voice actor, and so it it is different. And so. If it turns out that he actually did, it helped. Either way, Sargon's case helps fair use. It either, it either, it either, it either, it either whether he wins or not, um, it because least, he's a defendant in this it, case. It shows a line. Right, exactly. And that's what I mean. It, I don't know. I don't mean helping fair use as far as broadening it, because I don't think that necessarily is a good thing. I think fair use needs to have boundaries, it and we need help, to know them. It helps define it. Right, basically. exactly. There, there'll be a line where, okay, you can't do this kind of video without adding transformative content, which is actually, and by the way, the lawyer representing um, the plaintiff in this case yeah. is the lawyer that represented Ethan and Hila, who represented us. So I trust his judgment when it comes to this. He, like, specializes in this. And I don't wish for Sargon to, like, lose, because, I mean, you know, he's a, you know, tangential friend of the show. We talk sometimes. He's a nice enough dude, although I disagree with him politically a lot of the time. I don't think, if he's not bullheaded about it, 
I don't think he deserves to lose anything. But I. But I, I, if he thing. does go for it, he does. Uh, he does. I think, from what it was described to me, if he had put that same exact content within the context of a larger video of him talking about it, talking would've about been. her, would have been probably fine. It's the fact that he just edited it, right. just slapped a different title on it, Correct. sounds sketch to me. So Yeah, it sound, and also, there was an opportunity to um, undo it and decided to do it anyways, and that that's probably the part that's not going to fly very well. Um, because whether you like it or not, this, like... How you react to these things doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, there's the two cases are are kind of defining the beginning and end of, of what you can do, and it's yeah. kind of nice to have that. And again, I, I I hope for the best for that whole situation. I hope he doesn't have to pay a ton of money because while I don't agree with him politically on a lot of things, I do think that the content he makes has a space. And so, you know what I mean. Um, so I I don't know how I feel about that case, like. Who I'm rooting for? Again, I don't... I'm rooting for fair use being defined, basically. Yes. I would need to see the original right. video. Yeah, I can't pass judgment, but I that's can't. what this is for. So we'll find out more later. Um, but Ethan and Gila, just great. If you haven't seen their video, or if you don't subscribe to H3H3, we are a tiny-ass channel in comparison, so you probably have at least seen them at times. Definitely check out their stuff. If you like us, you can't not like them. Yeah. It'd be wild to find people that like us and hate them. Yeah, because they're like way better at their job than we are at ours. So. Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, I'd say I'd say we're both half and Ethan. Together. We don't have an Ela. Mm. We should get one. We could steal theirs. They sell them cheap. Because they're uh, you know Israeli babies. We can just we can just adopt them. I'm down. Seat gull, dear Hugo and Jake. Who are your favorite Chick Track characters that you or a guest has done? I like Demon Craig, AIDS Doctor, Harold Penisman, TJ's alcoholic father who made his daughter a drunk, Logic's alligator skin purse guy, and the atheist construction worker, both universes, and half bear, Satan, and his bottom. I'm forgetting others. You remembered some I don't remember. I so. don't remember most of these. This is a terrible question for me because the, some of you guys watch those Chick Track videos over and over and you like know them and I've know the characters we've created. I've seen each one time, mostly. I've seen them each once. If it's a character we did in one, like, because we've done over a hundred, I think, now. Oh, that's a lot. If it's a character we did once, I guarantee I don't remember it. I know once... Harold Penisman is pretty much... But he's come up more than once. I know, but... Which is weird, because he's only in one track. It's so specific, though. I remember once I was an old, like, Miss Doubtfire type, and there was a goose. The goose is the one I remember. It was, it was like... Uncle Charlie! Uncle, Uncle... And he, by the way, that was before the cameras. He did the finger thing. Uncle, Uncle Charlie. Charlie! I love Uncle Charlie, the character, but spoken for by the woman, the old woman's... Which, whose name I don't know. She's some grandma lady. I love that she's like, oh, Uncle Charlie is... He's like a crazy duck goose. He, like, kills people? I don't know, but the way it was, it was really funny. Harold Penisman is mine, because I'm Harold Penisman. Uh, and Penisman's going to get his own show. I like the guy that goes... <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> that was the first... Uh, Gomez is coming is like... That's the line in the sand when it went from... Well, we read the chick tracks and ah, isn't Jack Chick crazy? To like, we're fucking weirdos and we just we yeah. make it up as we go. So that one's that one has a good place in my heart. Gomez is coming. What a good what a good track. Um, I don't know. What are your guys' favorite uh, characters? And um, I guess like if Harold Penis was getting his own show, like would characters from that recurring be fun? I don't like. I don't even know how to do that, but I don't know. Like it's kind of a open idea at this point so um let us know what you think r quincy wrote a goddamn novel <laughs> jake hugo i would love to hear your comments regarding arrogance versus confidence are they different how is there any way to avoid arrogance if you are suitably confident Reed poses adequate self-esteem for positive mental health. Is looking down on people who are ignorant by choice actual arrogance when the majority of us in Western society have the ability to create informed opinions? Internet access? Where is that line drawn, and how can skeptics and introverts especially keep from crossing that line? Or is arrogance merely existent in another's perception of us, and thus not worth worrying about if one is adequately confident? That. Wow, this person I can tell... Arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. A Maybe. Yeah. But I was just gonna say, the amount of medications I'm on, you need like, you need three of them. Because you are overthinking this. Calm down. Calm yeah, down. okay, Calm so down. arrogance, I think, is... 
when you're a little conscious, you're probably very conscious, but often a little conscious that you're kind of being a dick to somebody. Whereas confidence, I think, socially speaking, is just like, no, I can do that for you. Like, it, there, there doesn't have... To, Arrogance implies a sort of domineering, sort of um, a one-upsmanship, uh, whereas confidence is more of a um, amicable practice. I, you know way, what I'm saying? The way I define it is confidence is all about yourself. You're taking everyone else out of it. Confidence is your assessment of your own ability to sure. carry out certain tasks, and based upon the ta task and the context, you'll be confident about Sure, like yourself. I'm confident that I can edit a video from start right. to finish. Arrogance is something you can only be in the light of comparing yourself to right, another so. person. And I think that's where arrogance comes in, is when you walk into a It's good to walk into a room confidently and say, I can tackle things in this room. It's another to walk into a room and say, I can tackle everything in this room better than everyone else, because fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. And that's not to say that's there's never a place for that. In, bus in the business world, I'm sure oh, there yeah. are times when you need to be that person who says, no, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it better than you. And, you know, I mean, there's been, there's there been, are lines. Even in our, even our semi-professional lives in food service yeah. back in the day, you had to be, sometimes you had to put your fucking foot down and be a little arrogant to get your shit done. Right, because of just the the nature of the speed of like food service and customer service, right. and where they intertwine. So you know, um, I don't think arrogance is always bad. Um, I do think, however, it's not good for like relationship building. <laughs> so uh, it, as far as like how you wrote this makes it feel like you have a situation in which you are looking down on others because they feel stupid and inferior. Yeah, you're probably in high school because that's usually where I felt that most. Yeah. Because once you get into the real world, now I still feel that, by the way. I still very much feel that, not just to everyone, though. Um, like, recent, I, by the way, congrats to me. Just fucking closed on my house, actually. Uh, but there's a, there's a situation. Uh, several, like, my closing day got moved back by, like, almost a week. This is why we're still doing it in here and not in my new house. Um, everyone around me involved in the closing process, it seemed was on a different page until they talked to me. I'm the customer. It, it felt like I was going to Subway to make my own sandwich. Yeah. So, uh, I, I have experienced... I got, I got pretty mad at times, and so I was never arrogant, though. Um, but still, like, you, you do come across situations where these people are fucking way dumber than I am, for sure. Right now. Also, at Walmart. I don't think I ever felt feel better about myself than when I'm at Walmart and you see like some like 450 pound lady from a trailer park with like six kids in tow. Well, I'm, all I'm not kidding. Sometimes I'll see a person yeah. who is clearly, and I, I think pretty little of myself. Right. So I see someone who is just, their life is in ruins, but they, they are like it's kind of their surviving. Fault. They're yeah. somehow finding food to get into their mouth a couple times a day and not die. I think, you know what? Maybe I'll be okay. Yeah. Also, the other day, we, we were, like, uh, hanging out, and uh, you mentioned, like, I remember, we were talking about Skyrim, I remember being upset that I had to take a day off of work, or I had to go into work on 11, 11, 11 to when Skyrim came out, yeah. and you wanted to play it, and we had just booted it up on, like, your flat screen, in your living, in your own living space, in yeah. your own living room, you know, and you kind of thought, like, we did okay, so, yeah, so, you know. I don't know. Don't be a dick. Definitely don't be a dick. Be self-assured, and as much as you can be, don't treat other people like yeah. crap, even if they are dumber than you. Just yeah. treat them, you know, slower. And <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Try... Try to talk down to them like they're deaf children. That's not what I mean. I'm I just know. saying if someone needs something explained more, try not to get frustrated. Just yeah. explain it. Some people. My mom frustrates that. me because she doesn't fucking listen. Yeah. That drives me nuts. And yeah, maybe you are smarter than that person. Maybe they're nicer than you. Yeah, maybe they have a bigger dick than you. Yeah, I don't know. They probably have a bigger dick than you. There's no other way they'd succeed. Big dicks are being good, right? No, because this show's semi successful and we don't have half an inch between us. They're like man clits. And then finally, Cam Henry. Cooking with Hugo and Jake would be a perfect start for the Hugo and Jake channel. Wow, lots to unpack there in that 
that sentence. You, yeah, you okay. go. Okay, so if you're unaware, um, we were floating the idea for a while um, between each other, and now we're kind of in the uh, pre-production stage of uh, converting um, what the the Bible Reloaded channel name to Hugo and Jake, where the Bible Reloaded would still reside in its entirety. So um, this this person was probably part of the Twitter conversation I was having the other yeah. day, where I was asking people like, "Hey, this is what we're thinking. How do you feel about this?" Because I don't want to like shove this on you guys, but it's happening in the next month or two where we're going to transition to Hugo J because we want to do more content without deleting any of the content we do now. Right. So basically, Bible Reloaded still exists. It's just underneath Hugo and Jake now because HugoandJake.com is a thing where all of our channels exist. Unpopular right. Culture would still be over there. It might change to another facet of Hugo and Jake, but for now it's unpop. And um, so we'd have the Bible Reloaded. We'd have the Chick Tracks. We'd have the movie reviews. we have the Jake Reads and the Hugo and they ask Hugo. Um, what other things do we normally do? We'd still have the, you know, Atheist Watch series with the kids' shows and all that. Everything is exactly the same. Same upload schedule. Nothing changes for you. Um, but there's additions. We have a sort of a podcast conversational thing in mind. Um, and I know some people that would be interested in this sort of thing. And it could be really fun. Um, maybe some live streaming stuff that we don't normally get to do. And just some other stuff that might branch into you know, a broader spectrum, or maybe not related to religion, uh, that, you know, we, we actually talk about this kind of stuff on these more often. Yeah. Um, like politics or, you know, just... Hurricane Irma, Irma or, you know, whatever's happening at the time. Uh, and just stuff we find interesting and or funny, and, you know, we have these conversations a lot uh, in real life. And a lot of stuff that I think you guys would actually really enjoy. So uh, we, we just want to kind of expand the possible thing and also i think another benefit is uh when you see the bible reloaded if you have never heard of us you either think christian edgy atheist or something boring and i don't think we're really any of those necessarily we're closest to edgy atheist but i feel like we're not real edgy we're kind of yeah. just two guys so um i feel like hugo and jake makes us a little bit more accessible um to people that haven't that would give us a chance to click on it yeah. and also um one last thing you know, YouTube is kind of, you know, hitting certain people. So I think Hugo and Jake is a pretty unsus unassuming name. Uh, and also, it's just our brand at this point, and it just makes sense. So, again, to reiterate, TBR is still a thing, TQR is still a thing. We'll get back to that, by the way, full force once uh, I have internet uh, next week, uh, the beginning of the week. So uh, I'll be able to take on a full editing schedule. Finally. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah. right? It took fucking forever. And then um, we'll actually be getting a full studio, so visually things will change. Yeah. Uh, again, um, lots of improvements, uh, no subtractions. I'm trying to think of a negative for this, but uh, unless know. you just fucking really hate. But we'll still have the theme song. Yeah. Uh, be... I don't think we'll even have a Hugo and Jake theme song. It'll just be no. the different things underneath it. So, uh, If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. We'll either do them in the comments, or if it's a really extra good question that we didn't think about, maybe we'll answer it in the next Ask Hugo or Jake Reads. Sounds good. Did I do it good? Did I do a good job? Yeah. Don't worry. You get McDonald's now. We can go to McDonald's for dinner. I promised. You can't open the toy until after you eat, though. Oh, man, but it's Beyblades. I don't know that to be true. Are Beyblades still a thing? I don't know. What... I've never held a bla Beyblade. <laughs> That's not true. Is it? Have I held a Beyblade? I have. The tops, right? There's tops. There's like really extreme Jew toys. Yes. Okay. So, I guess that's it. Uh, you can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo, Hugo Reloaded. You can also subscribe to the channel. Make sure to click the bell to make sure you get notifications to make sure that you are part of the baby birds that get fed right up front. To the fresh regurgitated dick jokes. You can always <laughs> donate to our Patreon to help support the channel. Yes, please do. That's great. I just bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it. Until next time, I'm Hugo. I'm Jake. This has been Jake Reed's number whatever. What the fuck was it? Uh, just make it out with the bro. That's what it was. There you go. Mm. What was that sound? You upset? No. Any good time? Just ready for the weekend. What are we going to do? 
What am I going to do? Oh.